On the occasion of World Hypertension Day, we are fortunate to bring to you Dr. Gurpreet Singh Wonder, who is the Chief Cardiologist at Hero DMC Heart Institute in Ludhiana. Regulatory or in private sector, mein, uh, what are the, the larger things that are being done to control this? Because we've also seen that COVID is the most important thing in COVID. So in larger scale, pe, agar, short mein, agar aap bas bata de ki kya larger scale pe ho raha hai, so that you know there is a positive uh, message going out to the to the audience. Uh, I'll do that, but if you permit me, just I'll take two three minutes to. Uh, hum Indians we, me kya, why earlier we used to believe ke hamare me to heart disease hoti nahi hai, na hi hume blood pressure hota hai. But anto aisa dekha gaya ke isko bola jata hai thrifty gene hypothesis. Jo hamare purvaj the, wo famines vagara me rehte the. So this is central obesity, it is a part of that thrifty gene hypothesis. And we call it in medical terms metabolic syndrome X. Now what is metabolic syndrome X? There is insulin resistance. In our India is the world capital for uh, diabetes, you know. We have the high, uh, second highest number of diabetic patients in the world. China has the highest number and we have the second highest people. So in logon ko central obesity, rehti hai, diabetes. Inka jo Indian pattern of dyslipidemia, which means triglycerides increase, HDL increases, and high blood pressure increases. So, as a race, now recently a very interesting study was done, which is Masala Study. This Masala Study has been done in US, and they have seen that the prevalence of diabetes among South Asians is 23% amongst the migrant Indians who are living in uh, in US, and there are not small number, 3.4 million. Indians are there in US as compared to Caucasians who have a prevalence of only 6% F black Americans have a prevalence of about 15%. So racially, we have the highest prevalence of this syndrome X, which is which ha, which encompasses or includes high blood pressure, diabetes, central obesity and insulin resistance. And this has been realized now by the government and by the doctors. And also it is translating very largely to now um, the general uh, community also. See, as we have now progressed in our country, see, WHO still uh, keeps us as a low middle income country only. Although Mr. Modi says that we are going to be a $5 trillion uh, economy shortly. And we all wish and hope we do become one. But at present, this low middle income countries, India is one of the representatives of that. And it's been seen that it is in the low middle income countries that blood pressure and heart attack in the last 25 years has increased. Whereas in the high income countries, the prevalence of high blood pressure, prevalence of coronary artery disease has come down. Now, why this happened? Because in America, in fin now Finland had one of the highest prevalence of uh, heart attacks. They started Save Your Heart campaign. No media person, no doctor, nobody, no government can reduce this prevalence of heart attack and blood pressure. It is unless the people, the public, uh, what we call as the primordial uh, prevention, unless the general public becomes aware through your medium and we kind of do our duty in the sense we tell people what are the preventive measures. Because it is the people's lifestyle which will make a difference. If, people, if obesity can be reduced in our country, if salt consumption can be reduced, if alcohol and smoking can be reduced, if we go back to our, our standard, our forefathers' diet of vegetables, fruits, if we uh, become less sedentary, we start walking, exercising, obviously these non-communicable diseases will come down. So the government started a couple of years back Actually, you must have seen Mr. Modi has now started the World Yoga Day because it is yoga is something that that we actually it is ours. But now that it is coming back from the West, we are finding it more actually more interesting and we are taking more interest in it. But originally yoga belongs to the Indian uh, subcontinent. So some of these meditation, relaxation exercises, uh, strong family bonds, all these things will make a difference. And the government has started a commission now for non-communicable diseases and it's been re realized that as our population has now reached a certain amount of age these non-communicable diseases are now playing a bigger role and people should realize that their own health is in their hands unless they adopt these lifestyle measures 
medicines as you rightly brought in one index person are only going to solve a part of the problem lifestyle measures will make a huge difference in terms of how much response these medicines have in a person dr wonder one one more question is uh, pertaining to the ones uh, who do get compliant they are making all the relevant lifestyle changes bhi kar rahe hain apna sair bhi kar rahe hain salt bhi kam kar liya ghee bhi kam kar liya after a certain point kya wo medication apne life se hata sakte hain and can they go to a normal life like anybody else or is this dependence uh, dependency going to be for life uh see uh, as i had earlier mentioned lifestyles are very important because lifestyles are going to hit at multiple risk factors if you adopt a healthy lifestyle they are going to reduce your obesity your hypertension your diabetes your risk of heart attack but the blood pressure pills are only going to control your uh, blood pressure so lifestyle measures are very important lifestyle measures see if someone has a mild hypertension now what is mild hypertension is if the blood pressure is little bit elevated from the range or from the level that we say 140 by 90 now you know Amer americans are saying hypertension is above 130 by 80 so there is no one fixed level but in europe in india the indian hypertension guidelines we still keep 140 by 90 as a level beyond which we say someone has hypertension so as you have said if someone has a blood pressure of say 150 by 100 and that person is able to reduce his weight by about 8 to 10 kg reduces salt takes lifestyle measures to the core i am sure that person can delay the onset of high blood pressure to some extent but if your blood pressure is elevated more than that these lifestyle measures in terms of reduction of blood pressure have certain effect usse zyada effect nahi hai to aisa nahi hai ki pill can replace the lifestyle or lifestyle can replace the pill दोनों का अपना अपना रोल है और मैं तो ये कहूंगा कि ये दवाइयों से डरना नहीं चाहिए क्योंकि ये जो ब्लड प्रेशर की मेडिसिन हैं दे हैव दे हैव बीन ट्राइड टेस्टेड इन हंड्रेड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स एंड मिलियंस ऑफ पीपल एंड दे हैव वेरी लिटिल साइड इफेक्ट्स विद दीज ड्रग्स द होल इशू इज टू कीप योर ब्लड प्रेशर लेवल अगर आपकी आर्टरीज के अंदर प्रेशर ज्यादा है तो यू इट्स लाइक हिटिंग द वॉल्स ऑफ योर आर्टरी एंड दैट हाई प्रेशर इज डैमेजिंग योर वेसल्स certain amount of pressure is required because we want circulation but when that pressure becomes beyond certain extent then it starts damaging your arteries unless you bring it down your risk will not reduce so if with these lifestyle measures your pressure does not come to below 140 by 90 you have waited for 3 months or so you should start medicines if someone is able to reduce it beyond that level then fine one can avoid so i would say about 10 15% of people with mild hypertension are able to control it and they don't need medicines but largely people will need both these things mm -hmm.